Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor. The Lord is in control. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Amen. The Lord is in control. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, God can make the enemy to play around. He can joke with you. He can do everything you want to do. He can celebrate your downfall. He can do a lot of things. But when God stands, they are all silenced at once. Hallelujah! Praise King Jesus. So we live in a, a world filled with all kinds of trouble. So don't be alarmed if you are faced with some. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. David was a man after God's own heart. And he was faced with Goliath. But God deliver him and give him the victory. Hallelujah. Amen. You may look like a grasshopper before your enemy. But when God is by your side, when God is standing with you, you cannot be defeated. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Amen. Let's read First Samuel. We we'll start from First Samuel. Chapter thirteen, verse fourteen. Chora parate, chenga paramen. Mhm. Let someone read very fast. First Samuel, verse thirteen, fourteen. It reads. Mm -hmm. But now your kingdom shall not continue. Mm -hmm. The Lord has sought him a man after his own heart, mm -hmm. and the Lord has commanded him mm. to be captain over the people because you have not kept that which the Lord commanded you. Hallelujah. Amen. When God chooses you, mm. he always stands with, with you. When you choose yourself, you will fall. Hallelujah. Amen. But when God chooses you, mm. he will always stand mm. with you. David was a man after God's own heart. And he was chosen by God. When he faced the Goliaths, God defended his choice. Hallelujah. Amen. And he defeated Goliath. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor that that giant in your life will be defeated today. And all the smaller one will run away. Hallelujah. Amen. God only need to bring down that giant in your life. God only need to bring that demon that is attracting many other demons in your life. That hand of demons will be brought down. And no small one will leave way for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Abraham and Sarah couldn't have children. But when they were very old, God intervened and gave them a boy child named Isaac. Hallelujah. Amen. Genesis chapter 21, verse 1 to 7. Genesis chapter 21, verse 1 to 7. Tell your neighbor that you have cried for long. Say you have cried for long. But it's time for God to make you laugh. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. The enemy, the enemy were enjoying your crack. They sit very comfortable and they cross their legs. And they say, I have defeated so and so. But time has come for God to bring joy in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. I speak as a prophet of God. I speak as a chosen one of God. Whatever has been making you to cry, whatever has been making you to suffer, whatever has been making you to struggle in life, God is going to bring it down Amen. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read Genesis, my brother. You can read. Genesis chapter 21, verse 1 to 7. Yes, yes, you read. He's saying what? The 
the birth of Isaac. Amen. Tell your neighbor the Lord is going to visit you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Aha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does not matter how old you are. Does not matter how long you have suffered. Joy will come instantly. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Uh -huh. Even the one who will listen to your testimony will laugh. Amen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, you stop there now. Okay. The enemy will ask themselves. <laughs> Who can imagine that Jimmy will retry you? Who would think that Moses? We love a baby boy. Who will think that grace will fly abroad? Who will think that Nancy will be a director? Who will think that Redeem will be a big ministry in Lira Town? Let me tell you today, it is our time Amen. for God visitation. Amen. And when he comes, Amen. laughters. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. If it is time Amen. for God Amen. to visit you, Amen. every stone will not be left under. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God want me to speak to somebody this morning. When the Israelites wanted to cross over the Red Sea, from their enemies, the Lord came to their rescue and parted water and allowed them to cross over over Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you today, even if there is too much pressure for the enemy, too much pressure, don't panic. Because God will open ways. Amen. Amen. When they are about to approach you, they will swear and say we have finished them. Not knowing that, our God open ways even when there is no way. Exodus chapter 14 verse 21 to 22. Moses Moses or your king, you will now. What O Daniel dear Nam Wara? What O Daniel? O Pogodian, O Pogodian, O Daniel. Yes, 
dirupi waha wacheng o dirupi waha aha iya matek mu a tu wacheng mu kodo ije wo duchu aha o me yo nam o da o lo mu tuo mm dipi o poke waha mm je sare gu war ye nam ilo mu tuo mm bi tinge o da o ke chira yo tung ching a chu ki yo tung ching a cha mm Yo eji buriam kogi chigu donya ki kogi genam a gwar gwar papara duchu ki gar gar ne ki wegi a gwar gwar ne aha e karma ki koro ro ben gwar no tie di wi match ki pol na mo pa jo eji ba ko mo pa jo eji wa ko o ma ko la wa la mi gar gar gi wa ko o mi o ku nyuane mo chi jo e ji o wa chi we ko ni o we lu yi wa ko i kom ni we we ri o we lu yi wa ko ki ni jo e sarel ki an ro tie ka lu en i kom jo e ji pege ro da o wa ibon mo ze ni o wa ni ngo ri e chi wi na ri e chi wi na we pi o dok chen e kom jo e ji we pi o dok chen e kom jo e ji e kom gari gari ge aha ki kom we ki agwar gwar ge aha ki mar mo ze ze ti o chen we nam ti pi o cha o dok chen kon mol ki ki ma chon ki kar ma pe ti e ka ro ni jo e ji bu cha re e ji ye ti lo ko ri do ki jo e ji wa ba ge nam o ti o ki wen hallelujah amen let someone read in english Very fast. Very fast. And Moses stretched stretched out his hand mm -hmm. over the sea, mm -hmm. and the Lord caused the sea to go back by the strong east wind all that night, mm -hmm. and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided, mm -hmm. and the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry dry ground. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Let me tell you. When God want to destroy your enemy. He will harden their heart. Even if they see like you are stronger than them. They will still feel like following you. Don't worry. There is a proverb that says Charol kopor ti ekobo estabon flies mi oluang ngauding follow the cops in the grave pol kare wor kare chel kare liel haleluya this people jo in egyptian saw the strength of god gero ne no tego ba but they still continue to follow them put gero me te kere lupu jo esa ra it was not their own God wanted to destroy them once and for all. Remember God told Moses. That tell those people. Tell the children of Israel. Tell my children. Never to panic. For the Egyptian they see today. They will never see it again. So God wanted to fulfill that promise. To make them enter inside the red sea and the water will sweep them off that was the hand of the story of the egyptian pursuing the children of israel hallelujah amen Praise King Jesus. Look at the eyes of your neighbor. And speak loud. Say you are time for slavery. It's over. It's now time. To cross. To the promised land of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. When Jesus says yes. Nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Oh, when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus calls you, nobody can say no. When Jesus calls you, nobody can say no. Now listen. 
When Joseph was accused wrongfully, he was thrown into prison. God delivered him. Hallelujah. Amen. God delivered him. Let them accuse you wrongfully. The truth that is God himself will deliver you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. The truth will deliver you. Amen. Who is the truth? It's Jesus Christ. Amen. And when he says the word, his word is final. The devil will come with a thousand words to accuse you, to bring you down, to speak nonsense in your life. But Jesus' word is enough to silence all. Jesus' word is enough to make a new story in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Joseph was accused wrongfully. He was thrown in the prison. God was with him there. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you go, God will be with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Even in that bad situation, the promotion of God will come your way. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is still on the throne. And he will always remember his own when they walk. Hallelujah. Amen. When they walk uprightly. Praise King Jesus. God will remember you. Do your part of walking in the right way. And God will never forget about you. Hallelujah. What the devil is meaning for evil, God will turn it around for your good. Trust in the Lord. Trust the Lord who stand by his word and commit all your trouble to him. Hallelujah. Amen. God will always stand on his word. Mm -hmm. And that is the truth. When he say no, even if thousands or millions of the enemies say yes, it will remain no. When he say yes, even if millions of this world enemies gathered together the Lord's word will still stand yes God always stand on his promise praise King Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord he has great plan for you. He has great plan for your life. And will bring you through victoriously. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Let's open Psalm 34 verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. And by the Lord delivers them out of them. The Lord deliver them. Deliver them out of them what? All. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 34, verse 19. 34, verse 19. Yes. The righteous person faces many trouble, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. Amen. Tell your neighbor. Let the enemy gather all the troubles in this world. But what we know, God will deliver us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your hand and pray this prayer. Say thank you, Lord, for always looking out for me and rescuing me in difficult times. Thank you for your love and your care in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Make this confession. Say, I will serve God with all my heart and believe his word in Jesus' name. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. Many are the afflictions 
The righteous person faced many trouble, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. It's your time, my brother. It's your time, my sister. Speak to God now. Just begin to speak to God. Begin to speak to Him. In the name of Jesus. Because it's your time. Tell Him that trouble. Tell Him that problem. In the mighty name of Jesus. He's going to deliver you. He's going to deliver you. He's going, going to open ways. Where there seems to be no way. He is the Lord. Who stand by His word. Whatever he says, that is what he do. Whatever he promises, that is what he do. In the name of Jesus, speak to him. Speak to him. Are you tired of trouble? Are you tired of that sickness? Are you tired of that frustration? Speak to God. In the name of Jesus, he is ready to set you free. He is ready to deliver you. He is ready to take you to another level. Is any door closed for you. God is ready to open a new door. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. He is a powerful God. He is a faithful God. He does not lie. In the name of Jesus. Speak to him. Father, we give you praise. We worship you, Lord Almighty. I know you are opening ways for your people. You are opening ways for your children. You are opening ways for your children. You are healing your children. You are delivering them. You are setting them free in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We worship you, Lord. We trust and believe in you. Thank you, O King of Glory, for your message today. Father, we give you praise. We bless your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.